Hey everybody, Zolomimus here, and I'm going to be reviewing this guy and this guy. The, this is the Audio Technica AT2020, and this is the Blue Yeti. <laughs> okay, so what's going on here is I'm going to be comparing the both of them. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Why would I be re comparing the an XLR microphone that is being recorded straight into the Zoom R8. It's being recorded straight into the Zoom R8. However, I thought it would be a good chance for me to review it because considering I have both of them. Now, <laughs> good God. Okay, so why I'm going to review them is because some people think that these microphones sound near the same. The Blue Yeti is a it's a USB microphone. It's a computer microphone that goes straight into the computer using a, um, micro, a mini USB straight using a USB my, uh, input that you can plug into your microphone and the and the Audio Technica AT2020 is an XLR to XLR microphone and it requires phantom power to work. Now the big difference that came up for me was the Audio Technica actually has some sort of uh, it has it has a better um, it has better noise cancellation than the Blue Yeti. When the Blue Yeti, when I talk into it right in front of it like this, it sounds really nice, and it sounds it actually sounds pretty good, except for the pop. Now when I talk into the Audio Technica AT2020, it has a little more it has a little more of a bass to it and it has and it just sounds a lot more fresh. However, the Blue Yeti is very is very nice when it comes to picking up when it comes to picking up the voice. Same with the Audio Technica AT2020. Now, I'm going to be doing different tests and I will be and I will be um doing I will be switching in between the audio of the Blue Yeti and the Audio Technica AT20. I will point at them to indicate which one is being recorded. Okay. So in terms of looks, the Audio Technica AT2020 absolutely looks stellar. It is it's rectangular. It's it's cylinder. It's a cylinder, obviously, but it looks so nice. It actually looks like a professional studio microphone. Now, the Blue Yeti looks like a pill, and it looks very retro-looking. It actually has that nice retro-looking feel. It actually is one of the... It's probably the winner for looks. But like I said, there's so much more to compare. Now, when it comes to the Blue Yeti, the Blue Yeti has... A imp uh, it has a gain knob right here, and it has a polar pattern change mechanic right here. Right now I'm recording in cardioid. It has stereo. It has omnidirectional. I mean, unidire omnidirectional, and it cardioid, and it has bidirectional, which is very useful. Because cardioid is mainly, f which is the one that I use, it's mainly for side. It's mainly for front, and you will pick up all the audio in the front, and not very much in the back. At least not very much in the sides, and almost nothing in the back. When and um, for me to get stellar um audio, I had to um, I mean all different types of Blue Yetis depending on the uh, computer that you're using depend on the amount of gain that your computer is set at. You can uh, um, manually control the gain via the uh, recording the recording devices um, tab when you click when you left click on the volume control, and there will be a recorded or playback devices that also includes headphones and things like this. Now, the Audio-Technica AT2020 does not have 
anything on it. It has no knobs, no buttons, no nothing. However, it is a cardioid condenser microphone. And it's very nice. However, I do not believe I do not believe that this would be the best option for you if you're in an interview. So I would have to give it to the Blue Yeti when it comes to that. But when it comes to professional recording, the Audio-Technica AT2020 takes the cake. Now, the Blue Yeti is also very, very, very nice when it comes to music. However, sometimes when it's, it's extremely heavy. That means some, it's mainly the stand, but the, mic, the microphone is very heavy as well. So that means you would have to unclamp the microphone from its stand, clamp it onto a uh, boom arm or microphone stand like I have with the Audio-Technica AT2020. And that can be a pain in the butt to get put back on the stand, which is why I think that the Audio-Technica AT2020 is better for portability and for recording in a live situation like this. However, okay, final decision. I'm going to go down over the specs. Now the Blue Yeti has a has a pickup pan has a pickup of 20 hertz to 48 kilohertz. That is the frequency response or the the um that is the uh, recording limitivity, limited limitivity of the microphone's capsule. The, uh, the Audio-Technica AT2020 on the page says 48 kilohertz at max. However, I did manage to boost the signal and get this to 192 kilohertz using the, uh, the Zoom R8. So, and it is a con condenser XLR microphone, which means it'll be perfect for professional setup. Now, this microphone will take the cake. My reasoning? Because it just sounds extremely, it just sounds really nice. When I hooked it up to a guitar, it sounded fantastic. When I hooked it up to the drums, it sounded really nice. And even when I was recording it with a with a right towards the amp when I was recording it when I was recording the drums, it sounded stellar. Now I'm going to do a couple of mic tests for you guys, but I'm sorry, the Blue Yeti does not win the the test. The Blue Yeti does not win. The Audio Technica AT2020 takes the cake. Now I'm going to do some simple mic test tests for you as in the actual polar pattern and just oh and uh, if you hear some background hissing or rumbling that is my heater back here but I don't think you'll be able to hear that very well. Okay, so here's some micro tests. You should not be able to hear me back here. You shouldn't be able to hear me very well over here, over here, back here, down here or over on the top. So thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful for buying either the Audio Technica or the Blue Yeti, please give me a thumbs up, share, and leave a like. Like it. <laughs> I already said that twice. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.